This is a DCS 1500 monitor type boroscope. Comes complete with manual. You want to note to charge the camera for eight hours before your initial use. Okay, we have a cleaning cloth. This is the main unit. This is your video output. This is your USB output. You can connect to a computer to download the images. You have some cleaning tips. This is your charging unit for its internal batteries. You use a remote charger. Comes with a one gig memory card. It comes with three tips. A straight tip, a 45 degree tip, and a 90 degree tip. This is your main unit with a protective screen which you can remove. This is your uh, menu options. This is to toggle between stored images or your menu options. This is your escape key. This, you use this large key to take still images. You use this for recording video. This is your on and off switch. This is where your cable attaches with your camera tip. On the side here is where your memory card goes. And these two items, this is your power supply, hooks up here to charge, and this is your output to your monitor. On the other side, this is to adjust the intensity of the light, and this is your USB output. This is your USB cord, plugs into the unit, to the USB slot. This goes into your computer. This is your charger. This plugs into your wall. This plugs into here. This charges the unit up. This is your output device. I'm going to take the black cable because it has the two leads which go out to your monitor. That plugs into here and you output to your monitor. Before you start to use the 1500, you remove your memory card and insert it into the unit. The memory card goes in backwards, upside down. You push it in until it locks. The next thing you want to do is attach the cable. We'll remove the cable. Be very careful to line up the pins. There's five pins. There's two channel indicators. Make sure that you line those up. To press fully and tighten the tightening screw. This has a straight tip and there comes with three other tips. If you want to change one of your tips, turn the unit off. These are screw on tips. Remove one of the other tips. When you first get these, they come in a plastic bag that you'll need to remove. You can store the tips in the uh, this canister. You don't have to put it back in the plastic bag. So you remove the tip, find your screw, and you can screw the tip on. This one you can see is a 45 degree mirror. So you would insert this and see something over on this side. Power it on. Push this button for three seconds. Now we're powered up. You see the camera indicator, which will go off in a second. It has date and time display. When you first plug in your unit, you may see no light. It's because the light adjustment is off. You want to turn this on, and you'll be able to see the intensity of the light. So for dark area illumination. When you're in a room, you can see that you don't need a lot of light. This is your menu. You have a variety of menu items. This is your toggle up and down buttons and the escape key to escape from the menu. 
You can delete all your stored images on your card. This has video output type, date and time, setup, the language, the video format, and auto power off. Your video output. Well, you need to have a video output plugged in. If I want to change the date and time, I select that. Hit menu. The up and down keys will toggle you across. And then you use the video key to change the parameter. Then you want to escape from that. You click escape. Go back to your menu. To do your video format, whether you're NTSC or PAL, we'll select NTSC. And your auto power off. The unit can go off preset times, or you can disable it and turn it off when you want to turn it off. It might be recording a process. So we want to get out of the menu. We'll click escape. Goes back to camera. As soon as that clears, you're ready to take video. This button down here, when depressed, you can see that an image lights up here. It shows that you've taken a still shot. If you want to do recording, you press the recording button, it shows you record, and it shows the time of your recording. To stop that, you press it again, it goes away. If you want to see what you just recorded, you can toggle back using the toggle switches. Here's your stills. And there's your movie indicated by this. If you want to delete that movie, you can select that. You select what you would like to see on your playback. And you hit this button and it gives you an indication that it is playing. Or you can toggle through your stills. When you're storing your unit, you want to make sure to remove the card. And you remove the cable. And the unit goes back in there. This lines up in the corner. You can move the cable around the channel.